All right, Swim Ninja is here at Lee Graham with coach, head coach Mike Cook. Uh, you had a close meet on Saturday against Fairfax. Going into the relays, you're only a few points apart. What do you do to get your team pumped up? I just take a couple of my older kids, my senior swimmers, and I take them, figure out how many relays we need. And I said, we need to split them. And they go and take the team. And I have found this year that the team will react to that a whole lot better than me giving them any speeches. So I have two or three leaders who stepped up and they took the team and off they went. All right, you were using the starter in practice today. Do you do that often or just this week? We did it this week because we noticed last week our reaction off the starts was very slow. We were getting off. They were in the water before we were leaving the wall, so we brought it out this week and just doing a bunch of jumping and diving, using the reaction drill, putting the music in the background so they can only react when the starters come in. All right, uh, you have a meet this weekend against Fairfax Station. Both of you guys are 2 0. What else have you been doing to prepare for this meet? Lots of turns, finishes, um, a lot of sprinting with the older kids. Uh, basically, just trying to have a good time with the kids, trying to get them together as a team. Because if we're a team, we're going to have a chance. But uh, that's what we've been doing this week. And how do you prepare to hopefully make your team an undefeated team? Just, we just take it week by week. Uh, we're preparing for Fairfax right now. Um, people ask me, I haven't even looked at times from other pools, and actually I don't even go on the NBSL website because I just want to be concerned with what we're doing, and I take it week by week. Divisional relays next week, how do you think your relays compare to the rest of the division? Uh, we're right in the middle with everyone. Um, it's a very strong division. Um, uh, there's going to be a couple teams that will stand out, and I think everyone else is in a pack together, and it will probably come down to the freestyle relays. All right, there's been a lot of fundraisers, swimathons going on this week. Uh, Fourth of July sort of helps bring out the good in people, I guess. Uh, you guys have something going on tomorrow called Operation Shoebox. Now, can you tell me about like when you started it? Our team rep started it last year. Um, it's basically to support the troops. We have a lot of people in the military down here. So we, the kids would go up after practice into our clubhouse and they would pack boxes with CDs, anything you can imagine. Last year we packed about 20, 20 large boxes to send off to the troops and we sent them out there and they spent four to five hours on Friday afternoon packing them. Um, and it was really nice and the troops appreciated it. They actually sent a flag back from Iraq with a nice letter to the team in August, which was displayed up in our trophy case. Thank you and good luck this weekend. Thank you very much.